Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 10 of I'm in Love with the Villainess. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Dog. Uh oh. I know. I miss her too. It doesn't feel the same. It's been a while. How the how long is a while? Been a month? Two months? Three months? See, I've never had creme brulee, but I've heard really good things about it. <laughs> hmm? Nisaki is your sister? Well, see, no, because in Claire, I'm only child, so I mean, only I'm guessing. She's using it as like, you know, oh yeah, because like she acts like a big sister ish like that and stuff. So Yeah. That's it, right? They're just friends. But she has a crush on her. You know what? And then I think about it. She's not even in the opening. So are they going to do something to like add her in the opening? You would think that they would have took out Lene's scene and put her in. But then I would have been sad if they would have did that because Lene. And I mean, it's been a couple. It's only been a week since she's officially gone from the show. But uh, for Claire, it has to be longer than that. Like I said, you know, a couple of months, several, a year. It ain't even no damn year. I know that. <laughs> Oh, okay. There you go. She was right there in that one little moment. It's like a blink and you miss it. <laughs> Girl, that is Nana Musiki. Oh my god. Oh my god!
just staff. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's just the fact that y'all got the queen. Best freaking say you. One of my faves in my top. Like, oh my God. Hold up. I cannot. I'm not about to fall in love with Nana Mizuki's character in this show. Am I? I think I am. Bye. I cannot. I cannot. I can't. My heart. Oh my god. No. I can't. No, boy, Ray. It's almost like everything was going so good with Claire and Ray, and the fact is they were kind of surly falling in love with each other, more of Claire, and then, oh my god. <laughs> and then here comes Nana Mizuki! <laughs> Because you can just see on her face, she just looks like, oh my god, I'm the third mother effing whale in this group. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Mm, some muddy jelly. Yeah, because she's not interested in them. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> Dang.
Dog. Cody. Oh, don't apologize. You did good. But like, are you not impressed? <laughs> At least she didn't deny it, though. I don't know, kiss her or something, damn. That's crazy. I mean, seriously, though. What you doing? Ma'am, you serious? <laughs> yeah, but you secretly enjoy it, though. Mm. 
ma'am. Right? I, I mean... <laughs> Is it weird that, like, I kind of feel like Manon Manoya, is that her name? Or is that how you say her name? Like, is kind of interested in Ray? I mean, mm, that would be interesting. Very different, though, but interesting. I mean, seriously. But, I mean, honestly, I love the fact that Nana Mizuki is in this cast, because, girl, Nana Mizuki is a queen. Like, oh my god. Anything that she's in, I just... I love so much. And so... The fact that she's playing this character... She seems very interesting. Yeah, and it's her there! <laughs> and, and it's funny... That poor, 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 poor Ray. Ray is hella jealous, but it's super duper cute. Like, oh my god! And I'm like, I'm kind of now shipping Claire. Uh, yeah, Claire with um, Maria. Like, seriously, Ray. Ray looks good with her too. But it's something about Claire because of the fact is they've known each other since they were kids. And she refers her as her, like, big sister-ish like that and stuff. And it's just adorable and wholesome. But, yeah, there, there's something. There's something about her. It's something about Miss Nana Mizuki that, you know, yes, we love, but... Her, the character that she's playing, I don't know. Like, I still like her. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, oh my god. Um, she gives me feels to uh, freaking Kira Chocola slash Arika, uh, uh, Akira from Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode. It would have been funny if they had her use her Cure Blossom voice for this role, but of course not. They're technically having her use her voice similar to what she used as Tsubasa from the Simpho Gear series and I'm not mad at that because not a Mizuki and there are several other um in my opinion female sayers I can say like Sally Haimin is one of those two um well I t you know what I'll, I'm saying the back any female sayer regardless plays guys really well this is also the same thing for homegirl who played Otomi for such a long freaking time on Attack on Titan because at first when I got into Attack on Titan I couldn't even believe it was a girl and I was like oh my god and so I it got to the point that I went like there were all these like behind the scene videos and such that I was watching on stuff and I was like oh my god oh my god then when I remembered who she plays in Pretty Hair and I was like yeah that scream I know that scream, so, mm, I should have known. But, yeah, I'm a little skeptical of our newbie. I mean, I still like her, though, but you, you never know. Something about her could be not so right, but, you know, we gotta wait and maybe see. Because, I mean, how many more weeks left do we have the show? Um, two, ooh, two more weeks. Can you, can you? Can y'all keep continue a story in two weeks? Can you conclude a story in two weeks? I mean, we're going to find out if that's really possible. But honestly, I'm still excited to see whatever the heck is going to happen to this. How 
is Ray definitely going to maneuver this situation now? Because, you know, our twosome has become a threesome. Even though Ray don't want that ish. But... Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode 10 of I'm in Love with the Villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Excuse me. <sighs> me. Sorry. Join the Bachelor Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.